In this video, we're going to prepare our project for recording. There's only a few things left to do. We have to set our tempo and our time signature. And we do that down here in the transport. Now our tempo is in beats per minute. And we can audition our tempo by enabling the click or the metronome. So you can press C on your keyboard to enable the click, which is an easy way to remember it. When you press play, you'll hear the metronome play in beat with the tempo. To change the tempo, you can double click on it and enter a new number with your keyboard. So if we want it faster, we can raise it. If we want it slower, we can lower it. Now to set the time signature of your project, you'll need to ensure that the time signature is shown. So if you're not seeing it down here, be sure to click these three dots to expand that panel. The other thing you wanna make sure of when inserting your time signature is that your playback cursor is at the beginning of the project. Otherwise, it's going to insert a time signature change at the position of the playback cursor. So the easy way to do that is just to click the go to previous marker button or return to zero button here to take the playback cursor back to the beginning. And then you can enter a new time signature. If you want to record in three, four, you can enter it there. And now when we play it back, you'll hear that it's in three. So once again, you have to bring the playback cursor back to the beginning, set your time signature, set your tempo, and you're ready to record. Now, if you want to view additional metronome options, you can do so by holding control or command on your keyboard while clicking on the metronome icon in the transport. This brings up your metronome settings. So it allows you to change different aspects of the metronome. So be sure to check that out. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to record audio. We'll see you then.